How many of you have read the book or seen the movie, Prayers for Bobby? If you haven't, I highly recommend it. But I have to warn you, the book and the movie are very heartbreaking. The movie was based on the book and tells the story of Bobby Griffith, a young man who sadly took his own life at the age of 20 on August 27th, 1983. Now, I'm not going to tell you how he died. If you're interested, you could read the book or watch the movie. But I can tell you it was an incredibly sad and awful way to go. I was very moved by his story, and after watching the movie, I searched find a grave to see if maybe he had a final resting place nearby where I could visit, and I did discover that he's laid to rest right here in Lafayette, California, which is near Walnut Creek and Berkeley, California, up here near San Francisco. So on my trip up here this week to visit my brother, I made Bobby's gravesite my number one priority to find if possible. His Finding Grave Memorial page had one photo, but no instructions on how to find his gravesite and no GPS. So I called the cemetery and they were very nice and they gave me instructions. And there was also a map online so I could see where the sections were. And they're all pretty well marked, so I had a pretty good idea. That one photo on Find a Grave had this huge, looks like an oak tree, with little cremation niches at the base. And so I used that as a landmark. And then with the instructions that I got from the cemetery, I was able to drive right here. It took me a little while to find it in this section, but I finally did. It was well marked. I just was, because of the photo, I was looking a little bit in the wrong place within this section. Sigourney Weaver played Bobby's mom in the movie. She's a very, very religious, devout mother. And when he comes out to her as gay, she rejects him, disowns him, as cold as ice pretty much refuses to accept him for the way he was born. She chooses her religion over her son, rejects him, and makes his life a living hell. And feeling completely disowned by his mom, that's why he decided to take his own life at the young age of 20. The saddest part about this story is that after he died, his mom finally came around and realized that she should have accepted her son and embraced him instead of her uncaring and unfeeling religion, which told her she needed to discriminate against her own son because of the way he was born. And she was just beside herself. I mean, she just, she would have given anything to have him back to accept him just the way he was. Since that wasn't possible, she decided to leave her religion and join a more accepting and loving group, which was PFLAG parents, family, friends, and allies of gay people. And the irony is, she became one of their biggest supporters. On a positive note, at least her support probably did save the lives of lots of other LGBTQ plus people during her lifetime. Can you imagine any mother or father rejecting their child because of the way they're born? If you happen to be born a member of the LGBTQ community, moms and dads do it every day. I just wanted to find his gravesite today and pay my respects and see where he's laid to rest and share his story with you in case you haven't heard about him. As I've said on this channel many times before, gravesites of LGBTQ plus community members don't seem to be visited as often as everyone else. And so whenever I can, I go out of my way to visit their gravesites to keep their memories alive as well. Let me pan around so you can see the entire section here where he's laid to rest. I walked up from the bottom of the hill and the bottom of the section, not realizing that his gravesite is right here, just a few rows down from the top of the hill. And here's the large oak tree landmark that I mentioned earlier that made it possible for me to find his grave. Actor Ryan Kelly played Bobby in the movie, but here's an actual picture of Bobby and what he looked like in real life. According to her Find a Grave memorial page, his mom, Mary, is also buried here in this cemetery, but I haven't been able to find her gravesite. There's no headstone photo or information about how to find her gravesite on her Find a Grave memorial page, so I'm not really not sure where she's laid to rest. None of the gravesites on either side of his or in the rows nearby have family names or appear to be related in any way. This week, I want to thank my newest channel supporter, Gretchen Lang. Thank you, Gretchen, for yet another very kind donation to my channel. It's very appreciated. Until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.